What's up everyone, it's Matthew here from Midland Pictures. Today we're gonna to talk about the key command, the key command, the one and only that you have to know if you own and operate a Mac. Let's do it. Episode 54, I think, on the key command you have to know if you own a Mac. Marker. Now this key command has to do with switching between apps. So when you've got a million apps open and you're trying to bounce back and forth between them, you need to use this key command to make it quick and simple. Before I tell you what key command it is, I'm gonna go over the different ways that Mac OS allows you to switch between your apps. All right, so you're in Final Cut and you need to switch to an app real quick. You can swipe up with four fingers on your trackpad. What is this called anyway? What do they call this? Is it like dashboard? Some more app yeah, switcher on the Mac. Okay, there's a lot of articles about this. Oh, there's like other apps you can actually buy. I don't want that. Mission Control. That's what it's called. Mission Control. Okay. All right. So you sit in Final Cut and you've got all kinds of stuff going on. Maybe you're editing a video. Maybe you're editing some photos. Not in Final Cut, but a different app. And you need to be blasting back and forth between Mail. Uh, your notes app, your calendar, all this different stuff, and you don't want to have to go down to your dock to switch between apps. And your dock switching between apps, that is one option that you can use. The other way that you can do it is by using mission control, and there's two ways that you can do it. On my computer, I have to do a four finger swipe up on my trackpad. I believe I have to do four fingers because I have three finger drag enabled on my computer. That's in the accessibility options. Maybe that's a separate video to show you how to do that because if you're not three finger dragging with a trackpad, whether it's on your laptop or on your desktop, you have to be doing it. It's so awesome. Anyway, four fingers up. You're in Mission Control. You've got all of your apps. You can go ahead and choose Final Cut if you want to stay in there. You can choose Finder if you want to switch to there. You can switch your Notes app. You can switch to your calendar. It's not a bad way to switch back and forth between apps. The other way that you can do this is with a single key stroke. You can hit the F3 or the uh, Mission Control key and off you go with all those different apps. So that's one way to do it, and it's not bad. Not my preference, but it's not bad. And then of course, going down to your dock, switching between apps that way. And then the other way that you can do it is by using Launchpad. So Launchpad lets you bring up all these different apps. You can swipe through, it's kind of like an iPad, iPhone looking interface. I wouldn't say it's really an app switcher type feature. It's more of an app launcher. But if you arrange your apps maybe for the most commonly used apps, you can click on the app that you want to switch to and it'll swap over to that app. So let's see here. We wanna to go to Safari, hit that button. You can switch back to calendar, hit this. I have Final Cut like way missing oh there it is uh so yeah i wouldn't really use launchpad for that it's really more meant for launching applications that you don't already have open so we've got mission control for switching apps and we've got the old trusty dock for switching apps we talked about Launchpad, not the best way to switch back and forth between apps in my opinion, so I wouldn't really rely on that. So these options are definitely something you can do, but for me, if you're gonna use a Mac, you have to use this key command in order to switch between apps. It brings up the feature called App Switcher, and that key command is simply Command Tab. Command Tab lets you cycle between your apps. You just hold down command and keep pressing tab as you cycle through your apps. And then you can hit command shift tab, which is a little awkward to do. I don't usually do that to go uh, from left, from right to left when you wanna switch apps. Something else you can do is you can hit command tab and then let go of tab. And then you can use your mouse or trackpad to actually cycle through the apps as well. Something that a lot of people do if you have quite a few apps open, which I kind of do right now. So sometimes you can just grab that cursor, switch between apps, boom, you're into Affinity, boom, you're into Safari, and then back again for let's say the Notes app and so on and so forth. There are a couple key commands that are pretty cool for doing different things with the app switcher. There's command tab Q, which actually lets you quit an app. So let's say we wanna quit this, you can hit command tab Q. And then if you wanna switch over to here, let's say we wanna quit this. So that's a cool way to quickly shut down apps if maybe you're doing a shutdown or you just need to quit something. Command tab H will hide it. So let's say you want this hidden, you can hit command tab, get onto final cut, 
hit Command H, and then that's hidden down in your dock. So one way that I really use the app switcher a lot is if I wanna like bring something from Finder into another application. So let's say that I am looking at some photos. Oh, here we go. We just took some pictures of my 50 millimeter Cine Prime lens. Because I use my apps in like a full screen kind of configuration, not true full screen, but I like the app to fill up the whole screen. It's not easy to get this photo into my photos app when my photos app is already open. So something you can do is you can click and drag the photo and kind of hold it here then command tab to the photos app and then drop it in and now you've just imported that photo into the photos app so it's a really nice way to be able to have all your apps you can see like mine are in full screen not officially full screen but you know it's taking up the entire screen real estate instead of what i see a lot of people doing which is they have like their windows kind of small and layered over each other like a collage and they like Dr click and drag stuff around like, oh, I need to get to this app. Oh, I'm gonna go to Safari. Oh, I need to get something back here. And they think of it in layers. Uh, I wouldn't recommend switching back and forth between your apps like that. It's a little messy and unnecessary and it often leaves you not using the full screen real estate that you have. So Command Tab will save you from that misery and that inefficiency if you uh, decide to embrace it. Pretty simple, pretty cool little trick. Again, the app switcher, it is just the, the single key command that makes using your Mac incredibly efficient. I can't recommend it enough. If you're not doing it, give it a try. It may take maybe a couple of days or a week to really get used to it. But if you're like me where you, you know, you're seated at your computer with your with your hand on the mouse with the trackpad and your other hand by your keyboard, uh, that's just really a good way to be efficient and quick with your computer. You'll find very quickly that it's just the default way to use it and you don't really want to try to go back to the other ways maybe that you've been switching back and forth between apps. I hope you like this little tutorial we put together. I just want to share some of these little secrets and things that make working in Mac OS and the other apps applications that we use for our creative stuff so much easier and, and so much faster. We're all about removing friction from our lives and keeping things clean and efficient. So if you haven't checked out the app switcher using command tab, I highly recommend it. Other than that, I think we're going to call it good. And until the next video, I will see you soon. Recording. Hey, it's me. Now we got a slate. Oh God, everything's moving. Uh, uh. New screen recording. Sure, it looks good. Got that Omaha Film Festival thing going. Nothing on the table. Drawer shut. We're a little wider this time because I thought we were a little too closed in last time. Face, fresh, clean. Whiteboards are empty. I need to get those swapped out for something cooler looking and I think we're good to go. Yeah.